My love for protein is no secret. It is the chief macronutrient emphasized when planning a new fitness goal. General protein guideline is to get roughly 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, an amount currently debated within the nutrition industry. Some suggestions have placed the minimum closer to 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram. But it's clear, consuming more protein than the RDA paired with exercise do show better results in body composition and overall strength. The ambiguity of an optimal amount, however, has us sometimes asking, how much is too much? Indeed, there are some cause for concern with excessive protein intake, most of it which relates to the kidneys. Chronic kidney damage might be accelerated with prolonged high protein intake. High protein diets might increase glomerular pressure, negatively impacting blood filtration and renal sufficiency. In long-term cases, high protein diets have also been linked to the development of kidney stones. Potential liver issues with acute high protein fluctuations has shown to induce higher AST and ALT levels, measurements indicating possible liver damage. Some issues were also brought up about bone health, where protein-induced acidity might negatively impact calcium absorption, potentially leading to issues like osteoporosis and increased risk of bone fractures. But all of these issues must be put into complete context. In terms of bone health, although sound in theory, no strong evidence has ever shown protein-induced acidity to be an issue. Findings even suggest that protein increases intestinal calcium absorption and bone metabolism, which supports bone health. The one study showing protein negatively impacting the liver was observed in mice. The mice were given an unnatural diet where after fasting for 48 hours, half of their entire dietary intake was casein protein. No human evidence has ever shown high protein intake impacting the liver. And finally, in the case of the kidneys, the problem with high protein is indeed legitimate. But this primarily applies to those with an already existing kidney problem. In that case, then restricting protein is definitely recommended. For healthy people, the evidence again is sorely lacking. And for those wondering about goals, whether you want to lose weight or build muscle, more protein almost always correlates with better results. But does that mean you should just eat all the protein you want? Well, no, simply because after a certain amount, the benefits don't really get any better. In fact, more protein can be hurtful to your goals. Too much while losing weight makes it difficult to stick to the diet since more desirable foods are limited. Too much protein during a bulk makes it harder to reach your calories since 1. Protein tends to make you feel full quicker and 2. Protein digestion is energy costly, requiring you to eat even more. In the end of the day, what is considered too much for you? Well, it depends on a few factors. First is the state of your kidneys, where lower protein is recommended when issues exist. Make sure you check with your doctor to see if you have any underlying problems. Age might also be of a concern where the older you get, the more protein you need to fight off age-induced muscle loss known as sarcopenia. And of course, it depends on your goals, where you should at least reach RDA, but anything more than roughly 2.5 grams per kilogram is unnecessary. Feel free to check out my protein video for a more in-depth approach. Ultimately, my advice is that you always aim for high quality protein first, and then eat as much as you feel that you need. Just don't overdo it. I would love to hear your take on protein intake, so please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. 